All right, so let's take a look at a top-down deadlift variation. Uh, typically on a deadlift, I am going to reach to the ground and lift something from the ground up. It's a hinge pattern. Let me set this down. It's a hinge pattern that has me driving my hips backwards and bringing something up from the ground. From this top-down position, what I want you to do I want you to have something connected, some form of weight connected to your chest. This bumper plate works really well for me. Setup position, my feet are going to be right underneath my hips for me. So that's my width. My feet are just somewhat narrow, more narrow than my typical squat stance, and they're going to be right up underneath my hips. I'm squeezing this bumper plate into my chest. What that's going to do is that's going to keep my posture in check. My spine's going to be nice and fixed. I'm not going to be rounding or overextending. From here, my thought process is I'm going to drive my hips backwards. I'm feeling a stretch in my hamstrings. I'm going to squeeze my butt as I get my hips extended back at the top. Notice I'm not squeezing my butt so much and extending my hips to the point to where I'm leaning back and now my shoulders are over my heels. That's not necessary and that's actually something that's going to cause some low back pain. We want to stay away from that. Squeezing this bumper into my chest just to know that it's there and to give me that good feedback on my posture, I drive my hips backwards, I feel a good tug into my hamstrings, I come right back up. Driving the hips back one, two, squeeze my butt to get my hips extended once again. With that, my knees are not completely locked out like that. I'm not squatting. My knees are soft and athletic as I drive back. So this is truly a hinge pattern with my hips going backwards. You'll notice that I'm not getting shorter I'm just driving my hips backwards. So it's all about this backwards motion with my hips and then I'll bring them back to the start. So that's our top down deadlift.